Top 3 Ghosts, Trapped on Video. Hello folks all over the world, recently they are shooting really interesting videos on the testimonies of paranormal activity, this week in third place we have one of the most famous investigators of Russia, Den, from Dark Ghost Paranormal, who ventured into an estate in the middle of the night, haunted by the restless ghost of a woman. The Ghost of Sofia We are located 160 kilometers from Moscow, Russia. Situated to the TVR region, the town Konakovo is home to an abandoned estate owned by General Ivanovich Snazen, with a very large house now in ruins, the scene of a truly frightening and gruesome story. The estate passed to her niece Sofia and, having difficulty managing the complex, General Ivan decided to work alongside her, with a manager named Gassler. The two soon got married, but Sofia died after only one year. So Gassler remarried to Sofia's maid, Maria Efremovna. According to legend, after midnight, Sofia's angry ghost wanders the estate. Footsteps, a woman's crying, dark shadows along the corridors. It is said that one night the silhouette of Sofia threw open the doors of Maria's bedroom and tried to strangle her. Maria ran away and moved permanently elsewhere. Even today, residents of the area claim to see a luminous female shadow wandering around the estate. On October 7, 2020, Dennis went with his equipment to investigate the place, and published the video of his exploration in his Dark Ghost Paranormal YouTube channel. Let's see together. Waiting for midnight to begin, Dennis searches all three floors of the building, and when he arrives near the bedroom the radio transmits a very clear EVP, and immediately afterwards, clear noises of footsteps on wood are heard. Не понял, что там сказали. A few minutes later the outdoor camera in the garden captures a very intense orb floating outside the third floor window. The half-transparent silhouette of a woman appears from the large white orb, and the camera inside the house manages to clearly frame the frightening figure. The camera that captured the silhouette is completely discharged, while the magnetic detector emits sounds rapidly from the adjacent room. Still shocked by the radio, Den tries to move to the third floor near the attic of the roof, when a figure passes very quickly in front of him, scaring him to death. Dennis decides to go down to the ground floor where a frightening hiss of a very clear female voice is heard. It is not clear what is bothering this woman, Den has promised that she will return to this estate to conduct a spirit box with Sophia, the courage of this investigator is truly incredible, you can see his investigations on his YouTube channel Dark Ghost Paranormal. 
persecuted for a mistake. In second position we find Jordan and Johnny, two paranormal investigators from Canada, USA, who on September 28, 2021 posted a truly disturbing video on their YouTube channel Paranormies after weeks of silence on their social networks. In the prologue of the video, the boys explain that something really serious has happened during this period of silence, something dark and malevolent has chased and tormented them until it haunted their homes. The most attentive of their followers of the YouTube channel had pointed out to them the very serious mistake they made during their first investigation into the Church of the Hanged Man, when during a session with the Ouija board they forgot to close the session by saying goodbye. The ancient rules on this table speak for themselves, never forget to close the session. From that moment on, Jordan claims to have felt around him a presence that bothered him even in subsequent investigations, with EVPs telling him, you are damned, several times, his physical energy collapsing in the morning and at night he could not even manage to sleep. After investigating himself in his sleep and finding that he was physically haunted during the night by a dark figure, Jordan later claims to have had sleep paralysis where for five minutes he saw the dark figure of a woman with long black hair, standing in front of her bedroom door and, since that moment, he has been seeing and feeling her everywhere. Terrified of what was happening, Jordan decides to spend a few nights in his parents' RV to investigate and see if this entity is really attached only to him. The first night inside the camper went quiet. But on the second night, a terrifying noise of static electricity hangs over the entire passenger compartment of the camper at a very loud volume. <laughs> The very loud volume of the static electricity, remember the white noise of analog TVs, and it almost seems to contain like a voice message, but is totally incomprehensible. And on the third night, truly frightening events begin to unfold. Who is that? Fuck. Hello? Who are you? Why are you following me? Anybody in there?
A little frightened by these events, Jordan decides to go home and a few hours later the little dog Zeus trembles with fear in front of something that humans cannot see. What's wrong? Something there? And things went from bad to worse as the hours passed. Strange noises, the doorbell ringing by itself and then this happens. Fuck. Why are you following me? After these truly frightening events, Jordan rushes out of the house, with his nerves on edge. What do you think of what we have seen? Are we facing a persecution, or what else? Let me know in the comments, we will be following Jordan and his colleague Johnny in the next episodes. The Possessed Doll An old user of the Reddit forum, now deleted, posted about two years ago a really creepy video that got about 2200 likes, 99% of them positive. The user explains that years ago his sister had a Dora doll, which she loved very much and that she could move her head electronically. However, the batteries were never inserted because at the time they were not doing well economically. The mother of the two, shot this video, to capture the joy of the little girl singing and laughing in front of the doll. Despite the low quality of the video, you can see how the doll's head spins around, with the doll completely turned off, without batteries and not talking. In the comments to the video, many users who own a Dora doll, state that it is virtually impossible for Dora's head to spin, without the doll being turned on and making noise. In fact, once the doll is turned on, it sings, turns its head, and makes a lot of noise, as documented in this video. So, is it possible that this kind of doll, as seen in other videos, is prey to entities that use them to manifest themselves in this frightening way? What do you think? For tonight our episode ends here, I thank you for watching, follow us on our social networks to know the news, and the appointment is for next week with a new mysterious episode of, Top 3 Ghosts Trapped on Video. Good night.